Hi guys, this is Raisha and I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about a paid internship opportunity for bachelor's and master's students. So it's the SIBGA, Singapore International Pre-Graduate Award, and you get the opportunity to intern at prestigious research institutes in Singapore for a duration of two to six months. Let me walk you through the entire process, so keep watching this video. We are at the official website of ASTAR which is the organization that hosts the SIBGA internship. So let's get an overview for this particular program. So SIBGA, as I mentioned, was the Singapore International Pre-Graduate Award, and you get to do a research internship at prestigious institutions in Singapore. This internship is for bachelor's and master's students. ASTAR is the Agency for Science, Technology, and Research. You can explore a bit more about this agency, and I'll leave the link in the description down below. To be eligible for the SIBGA internship, you need to be a student from a biomedical sciences background or a physical sciences background or from any engineering related discipline. And if you're an undergraduate student, you should be in your third or fourth year or master's students are also eligible for the SIBGA internship. So you get a monthly stipend of 2,000 Singapore dollars, which is equivalent to 1,20,000 rupees approximately. A very important point that you need to note is while you're doing your internship, you need to submit a report detailing your experience and details about your research project to a star graduate academy three weeks prior to the end of your internship. Now, the most important part is the application procedure. The application timeline and the internship timeline are mentioned on your screen. Students who are interested in pursuing this A-star opportunity need to fill the application form. You can click it over here and then you'll be directed to the page where you can fill out all the details. But a very important thing to notice, there are two particular research institutes for which you have to directly email HR coordinators of that particular program. That is the Bioinformatic Institute and the Genome Institute of Singapore. So the contact persons have been mentioned here. Rest of the research institutes, you have to follow the conventional path of filling out the application form. The application is fairly simple. And if you have any doubts while filling out the application, you can leave out your questions in the comments section below. So while you're emailing and also while you're filling out the application form, you need to have Two documents which are very important, which is the CV and your educational transcripts. Apart from the two research institutes which were mentioned above, there are loads of other research institutes you can explore. So you can click over here to be directed to this particular page. So there are two councils which are prominent and hosted by ASTAR, which is the BMRC, the Biomedical Research Council and the SERC, Science and Engineering Research Council. So again, you have to select the council which is appropriate to your background and research interest. For the BMRC, we have the following nine institutes. You can click on the specific links, explore their website, see the professors that are working in the different research labs, and then make up your mind in which particular research institute you want to work with in with professor you want to work with and what are the labs that you wish to join for this particular program and same goes for the SERC research entity and the following are the research institutes which are provided under SERC. So once you fill out the application form share all the important details regarding your personal information and your CV, transcript, and other things. If you're selected, you will be reached out by the research institute's supervisor or the HR of that institute for further nomination. If your application is moved forward, you will definitely be receiving a call from the professor at that particular research lab and research institute. For some inspiration, you can check out the some tips which have been offered by a former SIPGA awardee. So you can click over here and you'll be directed to this particular page. She has also shared certain tips which are important for interested applicants for SIBGA, like maintaining a professional LinkedIn account, because this particular application is fairly simple as mentioned before, and you only need to submit a CV and educational transcript. So the professors 
are directly going to you know study your application and whatever you mention in your cv you'll also have to mention a linkedin account you need to keep curate your cv to your research interest mention all the skills the projects that you have done research experience that you have had till now which is only going to add weight to your application and will convey the professor that you're really interested in this particular project and opportunity and emphasize on your skills and reach out to the correct people uh, so that you can cater your resume your skills your interest and they're all in one line and then you have higher chances of getting selected for this internship in the end once you're through with the application process reach out to former sip guy interns and you know try practicing certain questions that might be asked by professors for the final sip guy interview if you your application is moved ahead so let's do a recap of all the documents that you would be requiring for sip guy internship the first one is a neat cv so it needs to be very simple your name linkedin profile any other social profile which is important for the application educational background skills the projects that you have done any industry experience and any publications that you might be having everything is mentioned very clearly your impact in projects skills and technologies that you have used in projects should mention very clearly in this internship your professor is directly going to read your resume and then make up his mind whether he or she wants to take you up for the project at sipka then you need to have your educational transcripts you need to request this document from your home university and this is basically a document that illustrates all of your grades in each particular semester in the end you need to have a valid passport because if you get selected you need to have to go through the visa application process so you, it's very important to keep in mind that when you will be filling out the application form they be asked to mention the start dates and the end dates spend a lot of time in figuring out the research institute that you want to work in and the research labs and the professor that you want to work with because these are some of the questions that would be asked in the application form explore the website and thoroughly do research on the institutes different institutes your particular interest and go through the professor's background go to their google scholar profile read their publications on research gate keep a thorough understanding of the project that you want to do and only and cater your resume according to that because it will only improve your chances of getting selected for the internship so that was all for this video if you have any questions related to this internship you can reach out directly to me on linkedin or instagram or you can leave your questions in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to guide you so stay tuned bye